From DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com, I'm Darren Marlar, and this is your Daily Dose of Weird News. Brought to you by Send Out Cards. Try it now absolutely free at SendOutCards.com slash weird. That's SendOutCards.com slash weird. Sex in the City actress Cynthia Nixon has officially jumped into the race for governor of New York. You know, with the last name of Nixon, the only way she has a shot is to get a puppy named Checkers and start every campaign speech with, I'm not a crook. Apparently, there is such a thing as a free lunch. Little Caesars Pizza said if a number 16 beat a number one seed in March Madness, it would be free lunch for everyone. Well, Monday, April 2nd, from 11.30 a.m. to 1 p.m., you can stop by for your free lunch combo. To ensure you get to the counter in time for the free food, you might want to bring a cattle prod. Kevin Federline is asking Britney Spears to increase his child support of $20,000 a month to compensate him for the sacrifices he has made. Yes, it must be hard to sacrifice a non-existent music career. An Ohio man ate at Chipotle 500 days in a row, but now says he is ready for something new – once he finally gets out of the hospital. One of the weirder trends these days – having diamond studs embedded into your ring finger instead of wearing an actual wedding ring. Good news – you never have to worry about losing your wedding ring. Bad news – if you're ever mugged and have to hand over all your jewelry, you have to cut your finger off. Research published in the journal Sleep reveals that tweens and teens are doing a lot more texting and talking than their parents might realize. In fact, 62 percent of kids surveyed admitted to using cell phones even after they'd gone to bed for the night. So text them a bedtime story. Scientists say Jupiter's red spot is shrinking and changing color. We don't know why, but we do know it's not from scratching it. Uber has suspended testing autonomous cars nationwide after an Uber self-driving car hit and killed a woman in Temp, Arizona Sunday night. Even worse, they charged it to her credit card. Kathy Griffin's comeback begins. Her June 26th show at Carnegie Hall sold out in 20 minutes. They've already done a beheaded count. In Evansville, Indiana, 19-year-old Derek Faria decided to rob a Fifth Third Bank branch and, since he had no wheels, decided to take a cab to and from the robbery. Faria reportedly ordered a taxi cab at home before taking it to the bank, where Evansville police said he gave the bank teller a note that read, this is a robbery, give me all your money. Faria reportedly did not have a weapon. He then allegedly took the cab back home and paid the driver $20 from the money he stole. Authorities recovered all the money stolen during the robbery except the $14 cab fare and $6 tip. Faria is being charged with robbery and with possession of drug paraphernalia, which officers found in his home. And it is, it's no wonder this guy was unemployed and had to rob a bank. But thinking like this, there's no way he was going to move up to management. A new biopic is being filmed in London with Renee Zellweger starring in the Judy Garland story. It's called There's No Place Like Sweet Home Alabama. The day of the week with the most workplace murders is Monday, which came as a surprise to absolutely no one. Eddie Redmayne and his wife Hannah have welcomed a baby boy into the world, their second. His name? Luke Richard Bagshaw Redmayne. Man, good thing this kid has two middle names to choose from. There is no way you're going to admit that you have a middle name of Bagshaw. A nine-year-old boy fatally shot his 13-year-old sister in Mississippi after she refused to hand over a video game controller. The victim, Jonay White, was shot in the back of the head and the bullet entered her brain. Monroe County Sheriff Cecil Cantrell said that he'd never seen a case like this one and confirmed the girl died from her injuries after being rushed to Le Bonheur's Children's Hospital in Memphis, Tennessee. It remains unclear how the firearm used in the shooting had been accessed. The children's mother was in another room feeding other children lunch at the time of the incident. The circumstances of the shooting are still being investigated, and what consequences the boy will face is not known at this time. Yeah, I'm thinking sitting in the corner for a timeout ain't going to cut it this time. When O.J. Simpson gave his first interview after being released from prison, he said that Colin Kaepernick made a mistake protesting the national anthem. And if anybody knows how not to learn from their mistakes, it's O.J. Simpson. 
In Nebraska, they're looking at raising the speed limit to 80 miles per hour. It's an attempt to get people who own Toyota Priuses to move to another state. Blame the potato chip. It's the biggest demon behind that pound-a-year weight creep that plagues many of us, a major diet study found. Bigger than soda, candy, and ice cream, and the reason is partly that old advertising cliché – no one can eat just one. They're very tasty, and they have a very good texture. People generally don't take one or two chips, they have a whole bag," said obesity expert Dr. F. Xavier Pysunier at the St. Luke's Roosevelt Hospital Center in New York. Even more evil than potato chips? French fries. What we eat and how much of it we consume has far more impact than exercise and most other habits do on long-term weight gain, according to the study by Harvard University scientists. So, when eating your triple cheeseburger and chocolate shake, just give up the fries, and it's like being on Jenny Craig! Police in Hobart, Indiana found what they believe was a methamphetamine lab inside a White Castle restaurant, which completely explains the addictive nature of White Castle. Steven Spielberg says Indiana Jones 5 filming will begin in the UK in April 2019. Set for a July 2020 release date, the film will again have Spielberg teaming up with Harrison Ford. The film is tentatively titled Indiana Jones and the Search for a Geriatric Wheelchair. A woman stopped from taking her open jug of sweet wine on a train in China did the only sensible thing – chugged as much as she could before getting onto the train. This woman drank half the jug, about a quarter and a half. <laughs> you know, I'll bet that was a really fun train ride, though. In Springville, Utah, a bizarre fundraiser is being planned to benefit a local woman who had both arms and legs amputated. Tiffany King had a condition that required her to take a medication which weakened her immune system. In January, she developed pneumonia, which led to a blood infection, forcing doctors to give her another medicine that took the blood flow away from her arms and legs. The medicine saved her life, but the lack of blood flow to her arms and legs for several days forced doctors to perform a quadruple amputation. So in a Facebook post Saturday, some of her friends announced the event called Phoenix Wing Productions Welcomes Harry Potter to Burlesque. All the proceeds will go toward buying prosthetic limbs for King. But exactly how do you make Harry Potter burlesque? And would you really want to? A Baltimore coffee shop that has recently been robbed several times now no longer takes cash. Stop drinking coffee, people! It's just taking us one step closer to the mark of the beast! People unwilling to quit smoking to improve their own health might consider giving up cigarettes to spare their pets the harmful effects of secondhand smoke. A new survey says 28 percent of pet owners who smoke say they would try to quit based on knowledge that secondhand smoke could harm their dogs, cats, and other pets. Another 11 percent say they would think about quitting. Yeah, I don't, I don't really care if my smoke kills me or my family, but oh, if little Fifi might get sicky poo Today's Daily Dose of Weird News is brought to you by Send Out Cards. You don't have to leave the house, you don't have to buy stamps, and you still get a physical card in the mail with whatever message you wish to send. Choose from the hundreds of existing cards or create one of your own, complete with your own pictures if you wish. Try it now absolutely free by visiting sendoutcards.com slash weird. Remember the slash weird part. That's sendoutcards.com slash weird. For Daily Dose of Weird News, I'm Darren Marlar, and I'll see you next time, weirdos.